Edgar Allan Poe was born to traveling actors in Boston on January 19, 1809. When he was three years old, his mother died of tuberculosis. Some reports say that his father died as well, though most others speculate that he simply left the family. As an orphan, Poe was informally adopted by John Allen and his wife, Frances Ballantine Allen. Together, they had a tobacco business in Richmond, Virginia. They hoped that Poe would continue with this business, but unfortunately, he was more interested in writing poetry. It was around this time that he also became engaged to Elmira Royster. In 1825, Poe was admitted to the University of Virginia at Charlottesville. While there, he distinguished himself academically, but was forced to leave after less than a year because of inadequate financial support from John Allen. Poe soon took up to gambling to raise money to pay his expenses. By the end of his first term, Poe was so desperately poor that he burned his furniture to keep himself warm. Humiliated, he returned to his home only to find that his fiancée was already engaged to another man. At this point, Poe leaves his home and publishes his first short story, Tamerlane, at 18 years of age. After the death of his stepmother, Frances, Poe moves to Baltimore with his aunt, Marie Clem, and her 12-year-old daughter, Virginia. It is here that he begins to publish many of his short stories and even wins a contest held by the Saturday Visitor. Winning this contest leads to an editorial position at the Southern Literary Messenger, where he critiques many authors, especially Rufus Griswold, who becomes his enemy. At the age of 27, Poe marries his now 14-year-old cousin, Virginia. They write each other love poems, his most famous, known as Eulalie. Though he is happy, he moves to New York seeking higher pay. Unfortunately, it's during the Panic of 1837, and not finding any work, he writes his first and only novel, the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym. Misery strikes again when his wife Virginia is diagnosed with tuberculosis in 1842. Seeking money, Poe moves away and publishes The Raven in 1845. Though he is successful, the absence of his wife and rumors of an affair make him leave New York and move into a tiny cottage in the country with his wife, where she dies in 1847 at only 24 years of age. Poe is miserable, and his life becomes a chain of romantic affairs and depression. It was while he prepared for his second marriage that Poe arrives in Baltimore in September of 1849. On October 3rd, he was discovered in a state of semi-consciousness in a bar. He died four days later without regaining the necessary lucidity to explain what happened during the last days of his life. And days after Poe's death, his rival Rufus Griswold wrote a libellious obituary of the author in a misguided attempt at revenge for some of the offensive things that Poe had said and written about him. Griswold's attacks were meant to cause the public to dismiss Poe and his work, but the biography had exactly the opposite effect and instead drove the sales of Poe's books higher than they had ever been during his lifetime. <laughs>